Microsoft just released a new Bing, and this new Bing AI is powered by the latest version of ChatGPT. Microsoft partnered with OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT, so now you could access ChatGPT4 for free using the new Bing AI. So to access the new Bing AI on your PC or Mac computer, all you have to do is just Google it and click the first link here, and I'll try to link it below in the description and press try it now. And on this page, it's available for a ton of different browsers. So I'm on a Mac here, I could download it for a Mac. It's available through Microsoft Edge only right now. You can still go to bing.com and use it, but the version I'm gonna show you is actually based on Microsoft Edge. It's available for Windows, and there is an app too, again, that I covered differently for iOS and Android. But I'll download the Mac version over here. And once you install it on your computer, it's going to launch the Microsoft Edge browser Bing AI is built into the browser here. I could complete the setup here, go through the steps, then I'll show you what to do next. Now, once Microsoft Edge is all set up, what I recommend is you go to bing.com slash new, and this will bring you to this page. The other option you have is over here on the right side, you could click here and it will bring you the chat bot. So you could use it on the side, but I like the full page version of it. So I'm gonna close this one and bing.com slash new, is gonna give me the option to create chat right here, and it's gonna give me the full page version of it. Again, it's always available to you with this link right here, but it, this is kind of the compressed version of it on the right side of your page. So I'll close this and I'll show you the full page, and then I'll show you that tab as well because it has some options that you'll find useful. But here, the first thing you typically do is choose a conversation style. So you have three, by default, it's landing on more balanced, which I like, but you have more creative and more precise. So if I choose more balanced, then I could just go ahead and ask it anything. If you use ChatGPT, you're familiar with some of this, which is called prompt engineering, coming up with the prompt, the right question to get the right answer. But if you're brand new to this whole thing, it's still pretty easy to use. So let me just show you. I'm gonna ask it a question and I'll just press enter here. And it's gonna do a really interesting thing. It's gonna take that question, turn it into a search, but then still answer you in the AI chat format. So it's still very conversational here, more balanced conversational style. And it's gonna kind of give me a very step-by-step -step process based on what I asked it. Now the answer is gonna be dependent on the type of question. So the formatting is gonna change, but you could ask it, hey, make this a day-by-day -day for me, make this into a table of content, write this like I'm 10 years old, or maybe this is a romantic getaway, change that for me that way. But one of the coolest part is it tells me what to ask next, because a lot of times with ChatGPT, for example, it's gonna give you no type of idea on how to follow up this conversation, how to learn more about this topic. Here, I could just click right here based on some of the suggestions and it's gonna basically do another search for me and then it's gonna give me a chat kind of a response, chat format conversational response. And if you look over here, it says two out of 20. It remembers 20 different prompts. Basically, the back and forth, it remembers that up to 20 different times so it could refer back to an earlier conversation. That's very useful. The other thing, probably the coolest thing about Bing AI is it has live access to the internet. It's actually doing an internet search. So one, it's gonna pull up relevant URLs so you could learn more about where it got that information from. So it's gonna refer back. You could see these numbers. This is where it got the information from. Basically, it's gonna give you that reference and source. You could do a little bit of a deeper dive. And because it has live access to the internet, it's combining AI chat with the power of search, something other platforms like ChatGPT can't do. Even though this is powered by ChatGPT, it also has Microsoft being built into it. Something that brings the best of both search and AI chat kind of format into one new platform. Once you're done, all you have to do is press new topic and it'll bring you back to this page. Now it's not gonna remember anything you said before and it'll start brand new. And if you just don't want chat and you want search, you could go to search. It's gonna bring up the search box. Again, this is like Google. If you haven't used Bing before, it's a search engine that you may be used to. Anytime you could with your mouse scroll back up, it'll bring you back to chat. Now this icon over here has some more options. So it still has the chat, so I won't show you this because this is exactly the same as I showed you on this half. But the compose option is really cool. So here, 
I could ask it to write about something. So I'm writing a blog post about AI tech, for example. Then I could choose a conversational tone. I could choose a format so you could write an email, for example, or an entire blog post, is, which is what I did here. Choose a length, so medium length, and I just click generate draft here. And then in a couple minutes, it gave me this entire blog post here that I could copy and paste just by clicking copy right here. And I could just make changes to it right here. This is also kind of a word editor. And if I'm happy with it, I could post it to my website just from here by copying it or adding it to my website. Very interesting way to completely compose all your emails and blog posts, at least get the initial draft and then tweak it from here. And that's just right in the compose. And anytime I could go back, back to chat, chat also allows you to do some of this as well. But compose, I think, makes it a little bit easier just because it gives you some of these prompts exactly on what to do. So you don't have to say, write me a blog post because that's one of the options. All you have to do is give it a sentence or up to 2000 characters worth of a prompt here to write about. And it's going to go ahead and generate that draft for you right over here that you could just take. And this new Bing AI is also available to you on the mobile version too, on the iOS, the iPhone app, and the Android app. So if you want to learn more about how that works, I'll put a link to a video that I made covering exactly how it works on the mobile devices. But this on Microsoft Edge here should get you going. And this is now available to everyone. There is no wait list, so you could try it right now. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time.